Hello, this video is for violin players who are learning their G string notes. So I have a staff here, one, two, three, four, five lines. And to show that it is for violin, I'm going to draw a treble clef. So I'm going to make a little line with the tail, make it into a P, and then hook a G onto that. So there's my treble clef. Notice it's not perfect, and yours doesn't have to be either. And I'm going to start with a D. You might say, hey, we're learning our G string notes. Why are you giving me a D? Well, two reasons. The first is that it's a good starting point. It's a note that you know. I'm gonna label it, it's a D. You know it as zero fingers on your D string. However, you can also play this D on your G string with a fourth finger. So all my G string labels are gonna be in blue for today. Okay, we're going down, but we have run out of lines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one below. That's called a ledger line. So I'm adding it below where the D is, kind of floating, a little dude all by itself. And our new note is going to cut right through that line. All right, so we're going from a space note to a line note, just like we would with the notes that you've learned up here. Stem is also going up and to the right. And we are going backwards in our alphabet. So when we go from a D, we will go to a C. And we're going from four fingers or an open D to three fingers. As we go down, we're going to draw that same line again, as close to that spot as possible. Okay, so it's a, exactly the same as the line the C is on, but this time our note is going below it. So the head of the note, it looks like it's almost wearing that ledger line for a hat. Stem is still going up and on the right, going backwards in our alphabet, D, C, B. Four, three, two. All right, so we've drawn one ledger line. We're going to draw it again. Same ledger line that we drew for the C and the B, but now we need to add another below it. This note, we're going from a space note to a line note. Stem still up and to the right. D, C, B, A, four, three, two, one. And we have one more note. We have to draw those same two ledger lines again. And then now our note will sit below them. Four, three, two, one, zero for our fingers. Now here's where our alphabet thing kind of breaks down a little bit, right? D, C, B, A. And remember after A, we're going to cycle back to G. So those are your G string notes for violin. Um, they can be tricky with all these ledger lines. And sometimes it fools people. They think, oh, there's more lines, so that note must be higher. But the way I like to think about it is if you were standing on top of this D, you'd be walking down by step to get to the G. So when we're adding more lines, we're making our notes lower as we go down our scale.